Sheriff say changing Ulysses' companions into swans. So that's probably from the Odyssey. Ulysses is the main character from the story of the Odyssey, which is about a man coming back from the Trojan War, and uh, he has to go through all these trials before he finally makes it home. And the saddest part, when he finally makes it home, his dog is the first person to meet him, and then as soon as the dog sees him, he dies because he was just waiting for his master to come home. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, it's just... seriously turning Ulysses' companions back into humans. Hmm. I mean, I think we would have to like actually look at the story of Ulysses to get more information about this because this is all just talking about like the painting. Ulysses and Circe at the table. If I were you, Ulysses, I wouldn't drink the wine. I wonder what this like because uh, it's all in different chapters, but I don't remember what Circe does. So it seems in the story, Ulysses has companions. He meets Cersei, she turns them into pigs, and then she turns them back into humans, and he's implying that there's something wrong with the wine when she's talking to him. Wait, doesn't she use the wine to turn them into pigs? I have no idea. This painting has caused some debate. Who did Dosi paint? Alcina the fairy or Cersei the magician? Mm hmm Old school nerd debates. <laughs> it seems like we're, and then as we progress, we see pigs. And then over here, I'm, you know, we see ham, like a decapitated head, ham, more seriously, ham to eat, like in the form of food rather than just as a pig. So I'm wondering, is that like a hint to something, you know? I don't know. Ooh, key! With an occult earth sy symbol. So... The lock nope. is surrounded by a triple circle. So we have a key with an earth symbol. I wonder if that's like a single circle or... Probably just has bonus items in there. We should put a skill in subterfuge. Oh Unlock man! Unlock those boxes. Whoa! Holy shit! You can marry me with this library. Da, 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 I know, right? The first thing I thought about was like Beauty and da, the Beast. Da, da, shit! Da, 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 da. Imagine someone gave you this library, but it was all just like boring ass, like stupid shit. Well, but see, the thing is, though, is that like I feel like oh my god, at the time when people had libraries like this, one a lot of books were considered to, like, even if the books were quote-unquote boring, a lot of people considered them to be interesting just because it's like, oh, sweet, I have a book, you know? Yeah, yeah, and, you're right. And also, um, it's like a mark of status to just have that many books. Actually, you know what? Probably back then, if they wrote it down, somebody Actress. would think it was interesting. Oh, yeah. Mother expressly forbade me from reading it. Now she can't stop you. What is it Actress. called? The Miller Brothers. Arch Mother Actress. Mother expressly forbade me from reading it. Do you know what actress is? No. Ooh, royal jelly. A few pages out of an old encyclopedia. A cache. Oh my god. What is it? It's a nerd reference to Mist. <laughs> Mist, the book of Atris. Dork. A novel by the. Oh my god, that's so funny. Okay, this room's full of Jesus. It's a fantasy novel that fills out the lives of the game's characters, tracing the strange apprenticeship of Atris to his father, Gen, and their godlike ability to create the worlds they write of in books. Where all eyes size you up. Ah, Jesus' eyes. Chances are, that's the room my mother spoke of. Mm. And she also spoke of a Medusa. Should we go and try to find the creature now? So... Hmm. I'm so happy that I looked up that reference. That's such a cute little nerd reference. Liberty or Death by Renyo. Well, I'll take liberty, please. I didn't know we were but in New I Hampshire. I do understand his choice, even though it seems radical. Yep. Isn't that what it says on your license plate? Uh, the state motto? 
liberty or death or like something like that. Give something me liberty hardcore. or give me death. Yeah. Ah, painting by Eng. So. Moliere, dining with Louis XIV. The king's posture is surprising. No, New Hampshire. Well, it's the New Hampshire state motto is "Live free or die." Someone in the assembly. Which is basically the same thing. So this is King Louis, the Sun King, I think. This is the Sun King. So it is. King Louis the. What was it? Uh, yeah, King that's I that's am. Sun King. Louis the. Moliere Fort. dining with Louis XIV. The king's posture is surprising. It's almost as if he's addressing someone in the assembly. Ah, uh, yes. Ooh, look, a skull. Where? Over there in that painting. Oh, yeah. Do you ever notice that there's this one painting where somebody wanted to, like, say something sassy, but they couldn't really say it, so they put, like, a really long, elongated skull in the picture, so if you only looked at it from a very extreme angle, you could see the skull. Hmm. It Interesting. Was in the, you know how artists are like, I don't know, I want to see something sassy, well, but I don't want to be killed. Well, basically, it's like 16th century shit posting. <laughs> yeah. Because they can't, like, they can't go on Reddit and post a bunch of sassy memes about how they hate the president. <laughs> yeah, they have so, to just put, like, a very subtle skull being like, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah and this is me saying, like, eat shit and die. <laughs> Celia. Yes, Celia. Means nothing to me. Celia. Celia? Yeah. Ah. So, cool fact about this painting, Leonardo uh, da Vinci, first of all, this painting wouldn't be here, or unless this is a recreation, but Leonardo da Vinci was actually experimenting with, I think, oil-based paints on non-canvas, and that's the reason why that painting, like, doesn't, is, like, so poorly maintained. Like, it fa started falling off, like, really soon. Mm-hmm. Because it was painted on something that wasn't canvas? Well, he was, like, experimenting with a different type of paint, and it was also, like, on a wall instead of canvas. So, like, that painting for him was, like, an experiment with tools and, like, materials. Mm hmm And it failed horribly. Mm hmm Let's, like, look at some of the stuff around the room, not just the paintings, because I want to, Might be, like... might be. The Last Supper. By Leonardo da Vinci. The last day before his crucifixion, Jesus announces that he will be betrayed by one of his disciples. Oh, that's, um, that guy is one of the leaders of the French Revolution, and, uh, he was killed because for being, like, like, the, he was killed, I think, after King Louis was killed, and, uh, he was considered to be like a hero, even though he sat in his bath all day. But he was one of the leaders of the French Revolution and then was killed for being like too ridiculous. A meeting between Louis XIV and Philippe V. I wonder why Mortimer is particularly fond of this painting. The Company by Rembrandt. Amber. Yay. Fall of Phaeton, another painting by Rubens. As a horse's Phaeton, ass. Struck by lightning by his father Apollo for borrowing his chariot and losing control of it. Moral, don't steal dad's chariot. See? There's a horse's butthole right in the middle of the painting. Well, it's the center focus. Horse butthole. Yeah. What do you think he was trying to say with that? Buttholes? So yeah. Roland. yeah. Roland feeleth his death is near. His brain is oozing by... Either ear. With his brain oozing, it's already remarkable that he can feel anything. There's a lot of medieval art with like people pooping in it, and there's no significance to it. They just did it. Mm -hmm. There's no like meaning. Ah, Francois Premier, receiving the Holy Family, a painting by Raphael. Well, I mean, it's like you gotta remember that, like, even in like olden times like there were still humor yeah there were still ridiculous people who were just like oh this is how i express myself by putting skulls in poop and like yeah and also like a lot of painters when 
they would do like like big paintings with like uh, nobility, not nobility, but like uh, like rich people in the background, I guess. They would sometimes like make their faces like all fucked up if they didn't like them. <laughs> so like you'll see like this big painting of like, you know, like a king's coronation or something, and so you've got all the people in the background, and then one guy's eyes are kind of like googly looking, and it's because the painter hated it. <laughs> oh, um, and that was just their subtle way of being like forever in this super official painting. You're gonna look like a fucking idiot. Did you ever see, um, like, that theory that in medieval paintings that there's, like, UFOs painted into it? <laughs> and at first you're, like, they show you, like, what the, what it looks like, and you're, like, it is a UFO. Aliens are real! But then mm-hmm. later it's explained that people put those in to show it, like, that angels were watching, and angels are fucking weird looking. Oh, my God. So it'll be, like, off in the corner and be, like, a woman in a ship, but really it's the Virgin Mary inside, like, an angel ship. Mm-hmm. So if you like explain what it is, if you ex- if you didn't know what it was, you'd be like, oh, aliens are real. Like they painted an alien in the sky, mm-hmm. but really, it was them just depicting, you know, how a- angels are described in the Bible. Like it's got seventeen eyes on a wheel of fire, you know. Yeah. Christ crucified by Velasquez. Look, someone's left a note there, reserved for the Duke of Alquidia. Okay, so have we already looked around this room at, like, the things, not just the paintings? Because I'm looking at the things and the paintings. Yeah, I just, I kind of want to make sure that we don't get sidetracked just looking at all the art. Do you want to get it? Yeah. Yeah. Honey, I couldn't have hoped for better. Okay, but... Medusa! Yeah! Wait, let me get this box first. Ah! We gotta get the subterfuge. Looks like her eyeballs can come out. I've got to find out what Mother was trying to do with her. The Medusa. A hero armed with a sword? Penis. Hmm. Another one. A hero with a lantern. And the last one holding a shield. I'll stake my life on it. All the statues form a single scene together. The poor devils are about to face the beast. Let's give them a helping hand. Turn them all to face the Medusa. Well, in the myth, let's remember that he, that they used a shield to defeat Medusa. Yeah. So maybe there's like something about it that, think about the configuration. To vanquish the beast, the statues have to be lined up in a specific order. What can this shield be for? To protect its holder? No. Why not? But in that case, what's the lantern for? Step back and take a second, Louis. Be logical, but open-minded. Think outside the box. Nobody said a statue has to have only one use. I wonder if the lantern was to distract the Medusa. This shield can both protect the holder and also reflect the light from the lantern to distract the beast. In other words, I'll have to make an angle of 90 degrees between the lantern and the Medusa by turning the shield to face the sword. I feel dumb if for Mortimer's wasting the one points who thought on of that. All this stuff, then honestly, we must have a screw loose. Crazy idea, but worth a shot. Turn it towards the Medusa. Ooh. Well, and then turn her towards the shield. It looks right, but nothing's happening. Maybe in this position, the hero with the shield is just dazzling his colleague. Oh, turn the shield towards Medusa. If I respect the legend, 
I have to place the hero holding the shield in front of the Medusa. Except for here, it doesn't work. There must be something else. Emily, you scared the pants off me. Don't ever do that again. <laughs> Keep your nose out of my business, then. She was just standing I don't know what there. What you're talking about? Stop fooling around and tell me what you're doing here. I've discovered a hidden message from my mother. She explains how to find the secret room. Something must have attracted her here, so I've come to check it out. And you? What brings you here? My, you're curious. Let me guess. Go on then, impress me. This one? Mm, I guess. You're spying on Mortimer, right? Everyone is spying on Mortimer. Shall I take that for a yes? Take it as you please, but I wouldn't be surprised if all the guests were around here somewhere searching the manor. Well, no matter. I'll tolerate your presence this one time. Now, since you're here, make yourself useful. Look around on your side. I'll do the same on mine. And if you find anything of interest, let me know. Oh, yeah. In your dreams. <laughs> At your service, madam. <laughs> well, because we can't completely trust her. I feel like that's why he's being a little sassy. Yeah, but he wasn't being weird about it. What? No. I don't have the stuff. You're too stupid to figure it out. Golden fleece. It's freezing. Hurry up. Do you think that can really be Jason's golden fleece? No. You are aware that Jason and the Argonauts is a myth, aren't you? But Mortimer's been protecting this hide. It must be of great value, don't you think? Because it's made of gold. Of historical value. <laughs> this kind of hide is still used by gold diggers in Eastern Europe. Now you see how easy it is to obtain a legend. Why do you have to act so nonchalant every time I show you something? Lily, You're stupid. Anyone can kill a sheep, rip off its hide, and say it's the Golden Fleece. We're at Lord Mortimer's, not at some farmyard fair. You're just too skeptical. And you have a tendency to believe anything. Talk about an unlikely pair. Yet, you know opposites attract, don't you? No, dude, don't. <laughs> I don't think she's like... I don't think, I don't think she's into it, man. No, I don't think he's hitting on her, though. <laughs> I it's was not... just joking. An unofficial gospel? You'd be more likely to find this kind of book at the Vatican. Nothing special. The library at Buckingham has three. How did the English manage to get their hands on them? When someone wants to attract the attention of the world's leading power, somehow the gifts just pour in. You wouldn't have gone to the Vatican recently, would you? Are you calling me a thief? Certainly <laughs> not. Never entered my mind. <laughs> hey, Mortimer is the author of this work. It talks about his passion for art. 